Better Life Media, America's leading source for life improvement, presents John Gray. Beyond Mars and Venus. The important thing in life and what I focus on now in my work is not just communication skills, because I realize as well, we have to do a little exercise every day. We have to make sure that we get nutritional supplements in our diet. We're not getting enough minerals in the food that we eat. And if we don't exercise a little bit, it makes a difference. So I'm going to teach you one of 36 exercises I teach right now, which is probably none of you've ever done. But I'd like you to stand up. Now this is done in every culture historically in the world. Africa, Asia, Australia, South America, and it's simply a movement like this. Just simply bounce. Don't have to have your trampoline. Trampolines are fun if you have no, if your knees are bad. But basically all you have to do this, and we're gonna do this for just a couple of minutes and we're gonna breathe a little deeper. Breathe a little deeper than usual. Breathe in again. Now this is the African version. Now we're gonna go to the Chinese version. Chop, 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 chop. It's really true. If you go to there, you know, the Chinese are really into herbal medicines. But before they'll give you herbal, you'll have to do this for 20, 30 minutes. Because the herbs aren't gonna get anywhere. They're not gonna get to your brain unless you've got circulation. Just wanna keep this whole thing pumping. You can chop real far, you can kind of pat if you like, and other cultural just kind of patting around. Whatever you feel like, just get that body moving. And this gets a little boring, then you bring your hands up to chopping carrots. <laughs> Bend your knees a little bit more, feel more grounded to the earth as you do this. And what we're doing is we're stimulating what's called the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system, system starts cleansing the cells, and when the cells start to be cleansed, the liver doesn't have to do it, and the liver starts producing enzymes. So you're gonna feel it in just a few minutes. You're gonna feel all this tingling and aliveness. Okay, now we're gonna be like the guys at the airport directing those planes in. Got your flashlights. And we're almost to the last one, which is my favorite. We'll get to it. What this does, it brings energy, circulation to all parts of your body. Did you know the occupation of men that lives longest of any? Conductors. Why? They put their hands over their shoulders all the time. This, just putting your hands above your shoulders and moving them increases circulation to your brain. Better than vitamin C even. A little vitamin C in, this will work really great. Then. My favorite is the rock concert. I go to the rock concerts, and of course all the kids are doing this. I can outdo them all. <laughs> 52 years old, and they're all worn out. I'm going all evening. Because when you do this and you're in shape, you're burning fat. And when you burn fat, you never get tired. So you can't get tired. If you do exercise and you're tired afterwards, that means you are burning sugar. But when your body's burning fat, you never get tired and you don't get upset at your partner. You're so forgiving and loving and happy. So do these exercises every day. Just take five minutes with your partner. Now, feel your body. That's right, say wow. Isn't that amazing? That's aliveness, very simple. That's fat burning, that's your liver producing enzymes, that's making your brain feel really good. So have a seat for a moment. Every morning, I know how important it is to do a little exercise to get that blood into my brain to produce the chemicals. If I don't have those chemicals in my brain, I can't be as caring, considerate, compassionate, energetic, smart, and creative as I could be otherwise. It's just fact, it's reality, particularly over 40 years old. You have gotta get that circulation going. You have gotta have some good nutrients in the morning. Make sure you get some good protein in the morning, some good omega-3 in the morning, some mineral supplements in the morning. And throughout the day, you score your points with your partner. If you don't have a partner, you score points with somebody. You be a friend to somebody. If you don't have friends, be a good friend and you'll have as many as you want. You need to be interacting in a place where you're giving of yourself and you're getting acknowledgement back. But I know the fundamental basis of it all is my feeling good about myself and feeling good about my life and what I do. And when I wake up some mornings, I don't. And I just sit there and I stand and I do this. And I do some other exercises to get the circulation going and get the nutrients in my body and I'm back and I motivate myself and I say to myself, John, what are you here for in this world? You love your children. You love your wife. You love the world. You love the people that you help. If you do this, you will be better at doing that. And I know that as a fact. 
And just imagine if you really believed it to be a fact that I will perform better, give more, be a better person if I did a little of this. If you believed it to really be true, wouldn't you do it every day? So really what happens is when our brain's not thinking clearly, we forget what's true. So I just want to affirm right now, do you believe that a little exercise, you just did it, a little more effort and energy in your relationships to give would stimulate healthy health and happiness? If you really believed it worked, would you do it every day? Just a little bit of time. Nobody would say no. Of course we would do it. That's what you want to remind yourself for every morning when you wake up, that little reminder. Because truly, when you are being of service, and we're in a, a world of chaos right now, we often feel helpless and hopeless. What can we do? I know that what I can do is what I can do. And if I'm more loving and more giving and generous to the people in my life, I'm doing my step to help all of mankind step a little closer to the world that we want to create, a world of love and fairness and peace. Thank you all so much. You've been an incredible audience. We hope you have enjoyed this special presentation of John Gray's Beyond Mars and Venus. For a copy of this program or any of Better Life Media's programs, visit our website at www.betterlifemedia.com. At betterlifemedia.com, you'll find all types of valuable life improvement information.